How's it going, YouTube? Today I'm recording a video on a Panasonic Toughbook CF31. This has been fully restored to its working condition, and it was a police laptop. Um, as you can see, it has the stylus and the typical handle and keyboard and all that. It works. There's a fresh hard drive in there. The touch screen and stylus does work. As you can see, pretty cool. I just want to do a quick video and showcase this thing. As I'm still getting some modifications done to it, I'm going to install a DVD driver in it and uh, maybe make some minor upgrades to some internal components, give it some more RAM. But for now, I just got this thing from an auction and I wanted to kind of showcase it today. So, to start off with, over here on the side on one of these police laptop tough books, we have these little plastic compartments here. And these are the ports for all the hookups. So, to open these, what you do is you push down and out, and that opens the compartment. And it's the same for all the other ones. And this is where they hook it up to their car and all that stuff. That is to recharge it. I just got a charger that works for it. So now I'm able to charge it. This is going to be going in one of my cars as well. I'm going to play music through this thing. I have the Apple iTunes app right there. So I'm going to connect it and uh, play music through it. It'll be pretty cool. This is where the, what do you call it, hard drive, caddy or whatever goes. To open this thing, you slide. It's really hard to showcase here. There's a little clip here. You sh like slide it over to the unlock position, and then you pop it up, just like that, and then open it. Now you can pull this out with this little tab here. I'm not gonna do that because I want it to stay running and all that while I'm doing this video. Once you're done, you can clip it. All the way to the closed position, push it closed, and then lock it. Now over here on this side, same, same deal. This is for the battery. How do you open this one? This one's a little more difficult. You just unlock it. And uh, okay, you push down on this one. Once you do that, and there's the battery right there. This thing only has, I forgot to mention, it only has about 100 hours of use. So it is practically brand new. It's beautiful. It's a great computer. Um, check out your local auctions if you want one of these things. I mean, they're pretty good, strong, tough computers. Those are called tough books. Um, but they're pretty expensive to buy new. So if you want to get one, then um, just find one on the government auction and then take it in and get it restored or if you're computer savvy then just restore it yourself um now over here on right here you can install if you slide this over and push down this is where you can install either an extra battery for longer power in your computer or you can install a dvd drive um I don't particularly need extra power as I'm going to be, if it's in my car, it's going to be charging nonstop. So obviously that's not going to matter for me. I'm going to want the DVD player. Um, I think that'd be a cool little thing. But that depends on what you're using it for. Uh, the stylus has a cool little spot it goes into. It just slides right into the handle. And you can adjust it and move it to either side because it just goes right in there. And then the stylus itself goes in the handle. There's a spot on the opposite side right there and another spot right there. So if you want to move it, you can as well. But some might be missing this. The power button also is right here. All the indicator lights, battery's good, all that. It's all right here. The keyboard. It does light up a little bit at dark. Um, it's kind of hard to demonstrate in this video though. 
The overall condition of this laptop is really good. And so I just wanted to make a quick little video showcasing it. Because uh, next time you see this on my YouTube channel, it's probably going to be in my car. Uh, the outside of this thing is just the typical Panasonic Tough Book. Nothing too crazy. I'm not going to paint it or do anything weird with it. I know some people like painting these to a weird color. I'm not going to do that. I like how it looks. And uh, other than the DVD player, I'm pretty much done with it. And it's a fully working, powerful, good little laptop. So it's pretty cool. I just wanted to show this. And uh, if you have any questions, then uh, I'll do my best to answer. But uh, thanks for watching.